Well, this is take two. First take, I forgot to turn on the microphone. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Blue Garden Cottage. Most folk are still asleep. The scaffolding is still up. Fruit is setting all over the place, but it is not doing very well. Even though it's literally we haven't been doing much in the garden. We've been harvesting bits and pieces here and there. And basically just keeping everything alive. Because it certainly isn't bursting into life. Even the corn is now flowering. We're starting to get the flowers. But, um... Things should be way further along than they are. Still growing, still have a garden, there's still greenery, so I'm still happy. And I'm counting my blessings. There's flowers all over the gherkins, but we haven't quite got fruit growing yet. So does that mean we're not getting enough insects? Hopefully we will be now. I've got to twirl these around the um, strings because they're getting a bit wayward. So there's fruit growing, not a huge amount, but I think this year the idea is just to grow. I haven't even been weighing all the fruit that I've been picking, as I normally do, to see by the end of the year how much we, we, we've harvested. Even the potatoes, they seem to be in exactly the same state as they were last week and the week before that. They reach this height and then don't do anything. So hopefully, I mean the flowers have been and gone already. There's no berries appearing. So I can't exactly... Um, cut off the top growth, cover the ground and leave the, the um, potatoes to grow a bit more and mature a bit more underground. I haven't even done the summer pruning on the apple trees, which desperately needs doing. That apple tree is just leaning too much, so it needs thinning out, lightening of the top and um, being more specific about its direction. Same are all of them. Bit of a jungle, an unkempt jungle, the onions. More tomatoes. But not very many on there. There's some growing, they're only tiny. And I have been feeding. I have been pricking out of elbows and I think I need to clip out the growing tips so that more energy goes into maturing the fruit. Even that marshmallow has only just got buds ready to flower. It's ridiculous. Everything is funny. We had summer in May. Well, end of May into June. And then autumn started in June. We had quite a bit of autumn. We have sprinklings of autumn mixed with summer in July. It's all a bit crazy, but things are still growing, so I'll just count my blessings and I'll be grateful. We have forecast a week of rain. This week we had rain, but it wasn't much. It wasn't enough to wet the ground properly. Still had to do watering. Um, but next week is supposed to be a lot more rain. We're supposed to have thunderstorms today and mm, not yet. I hope I get a chance to go out with the children first because the grandchildren will be here today. All of them exciting. Circus comes to mind. We should give out tickets. Mind you, that's my neighbor's apple tree and there's no fruit on there yet. 
So I think we're all in the same boat. And that pear tree at the back in the other neighbor doesn't have any fruit on it either. It's just a funny year. But I won't give up, I'll keep going. As I said in the other video, I wanna keep trying to increase my knowledge and experience in growing all the way through the year. So there's a lot to do yet in this garden to get it to be productive year round and to a much better standard than it is. My own standard that is. At least the South Hill is thriving. And the strawberries over there, they like that spot. Right. Okay, oh, did I show you the new roof? I don't think I did. Let's go back far enough for you to see. There you go. Brand new roof. Wow, everything but the timbers. That's felt, battens, tiles, fascias, guttering, all new. So that's one thing we don't have to worry about and it's one of the pros of living in rented accommodation in rented housing especially with the local authority housing you don't have to pay for that kind of structural fix so i'm really grateful i am so looking forward to getting this sorted out again so we can have a roof on there furniture back under here and enjoy the garden but that's got to wait a little longer because we have some other projects to do like the, um, the the workshop needs electric and insulation in before the winter you see any grapes no one truss i see one truss of grapes on the entire plant And do I see any fruit on the passion fruit? No, nope, nothing. This year, nothing wants to fruit. Why? I mean, we've had plenty of clematis flowers. Oh, hang on. We have a courgette growing. One courgette. Whoop de woo. What's this? More flowers. I don't even know what that plant is. Butternut, look at it. This is all we have of the butternut. It should have covered this entire bed by now. Very strange indeed. Even the leek flowers, they're exactly where they were when I did last the, the last video at the beginning of the month. No progress at all. It's like everything's hit pause. That's okay. It will be what it will be. And I'm very, very grateful that this is not what we have to survive on. At the moment, this garden is just a comfort. It's an enjoyment. You could even consider it a hobby. If we were to survive on this, I'd be frightened. Because it's nowhere near where it should be to, to be more productive. But it will be. I'm aiming towards growing it to the point where at least 70% of our fruits and vegetables comes from the garden. I can't grow tropical fruit and we love our tropical fruit. But we'll have that only rarely because obviously they have to travel from far away. So not a great idea. But you know, if I had, if I had a lovely big conservatory or greenhouse, then that was almost the height of the house, then I would grow some tropical fruit of my own. But this garden would not be the right place for that. And we couldn't do that anyway. This is social housing, as I said.
we got bumblebees, we've got a few. I have not seen very many hoverflies. Yet I've had flowers all over the garden. The bees are here though, but not many. Okay. We're going over the same stuff again and again and again. I hope next time to have something more interesting to show you. And next week's video is a homemaking video. It'll be a surprise whatever it is I share with you. Because <laughs> whatever I planned, I have now learned, forget the plans. Just do what you can do. <laughs> I'm winging it. See, if I had that veranda sorted out now, I could have sat down there and had an atter with you. But listen. There's still bird song. Still greenery. I'm not going to beat myself up about stuff that hasn't been done yet. I know it's not been ideal in here, but even so, just having plants in the garden, I feel more relaxed. It helps. Oh, look what I have just spotted. Can you see it? There is a figlet right there. I have not seen fruit on that fig tree for at least three years. There's hope. There is hope. Oh, there you go. All right, people. I'm going to leave you with this jungly mess and just appreciate the nature within it. Untamed, unkempt for now. But we'll get it back to where it should be. As you can hear, the traffic is piling up. There's breakfast to be done, house to be made ready and tidy and prepared for young ones to um, bless our home. Of course, it'll look just as bad by the time Sunday afternoon comes, but it'll be worth it. At least I can start with a clean house. That always helps with chaos. Well, at least it helps to minimize chaos if the house is tidy before they arrive. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Get on with preparations. Preparations for joy. And I will speak to you again next week. People don't generally want to see these catch-ups and this vlogging. They don't want to see that. They want to see something more valuable. I haven't got a clue what that is because nobody has yet bothered. Or nobody has thought to let me know what it is you want from the videos. I would love to hear what you want me to do, what you want me to show you. Is there anything you want to know about, you know, if you want to call it suburban homesteading? At the moment, this is more of a hobby garden, but it is supposed to be on its way to becoming a homestead. But I'm treating it like it already is so that it will become that. It's that mindset thing. The abundant mindset. Living what you want to become real. If you want something to become real, then you live as if it already is. Look at that. and doing a good job pollinating. Those hind legs are full of pollen. Lovely. Okay, folks. 
I'm going to see you next week. Have fun. Take care. If you have actually find, found anything of any value in the videos that I share with you, please do let me know in the comment section below. I am very grateful for those who already do always contribute by comments. I appreciate those who share as well and those who like and encourage or please would you help me to do that to grow the channel so that I can make it part of the solution for our situation where I can begin to um, make us more f um, financially self-reliant. Right on time, listen to that. Great. Okay. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.